So originally I was going to record a video at the end of this month focused on civic health because here at the Miami Foundation we've been hosting a series of policy forums for our local elections. Uh, but I am pivoting a bit what I'm going to share because I am feeling a deep level of concern related to civic health across our country and, and especially here in Miami we have a unique sensitivity to the preciousness, the fragility of democracy. And I believe that this sensitivity is, you know, it's what equips us as a community to be a force for good in a moment of polarization in our country's history. You know, many of us know what it's like for a country to be ripped uh, at the seams, and we don't want to walk down that path again. And we're being force fed a narrative right now in our country of polarization, you know, and a weaponization of political beliefs that, that bait us into thinking that we are so far apart from each other as a country. Um, and, and what we're seeing is elected leaders cling to the outermost corners of their uh, party's perspectives because they are convinced that in this moment, that's what wins votes. And the only way that we will stop our leaders from doing that is when we demonstrate that what we respond to is not political theater, what, it's not political violence, um, but actually that what we want what we want is unity. We want the best of the solutions from both sides of the aisle to be joining with each other to help better things for uh, everyday people in all of our communities. And so, you know, I think I call upon here at the Miami Foundation, our entire network here in our community, we're a very politically diverse uh, organization um, and network. And, and at the end of the day, we have so much more that unites us. Uh, then that divides us. We we are so deeply committed to giving back and to strengthening our community and to addressing and solving for the most pressing issues facing our community. And we need to model very loudly that what we aspire towards as a country is to stand together. And I, we, what we've seen over the course of the last few weeks, a handful of, of really um, fragile moments where the only appropriate response is outrage and care and leaning into each other in a moment of unity but actually that's that's not what we saw and so we experienced a presidential assassination attempt of a, a former president and a candidate uh, for future presidency who was shot at at his own rally and the only appropriate response in that moment is to be outraged and to to demand that our country protect us uh, that we that we will not tolerate political violence on any side of the aisle that that is not who we are as a nation and we similarly we saw uh, a woman this past week who was killed in her own home by the police that she called to help her in a moment of fear. Uh, and the only appropriate response in that moment is compassion and concern uh, and solution orientation. A and we cannot allow in these moments for these situations to be weaponized for political gain for anybody uh, or to be used in a way that baits us to believe that we are so far apart from each other. Uh, and so, you know, Miami, I, I urge you to lift up your voice and your knowledge in this moment and to beam out your understanding of the importance of unity. You know, we will be pulled apart in this time uh, by silly season of politics. And, and we cannot change that if we don't ourselves demand better. You know, we can't recover if we allow ourselves to get to a state where violence is normalized or is considered an appropriate um, means of achieving any kind of goal in this country. And we have to remember that our country and our communities rise and fall together. We cannot end an election season where half of our population feels like losers. Uh, we need instead to find solutions where no matter who we elect, we have demanded upon them that they represent the whole. And that's what I've got to say right now.